Good afternoon, it's Sunday May the 9th, back in the Reed Nook after what feels like a week and a half of intermittent showers which has basically led me from getting out here whilst the pile of parcels built up. Uh, I have one last parcel to open today, um, but, uh, so this, so knife and of course the requisite nice hot cup of tea. And for those of you wondering, the tea I'm drinking today is uh, Toast and Jam. Um, it's a Yorkshire tea brand, and it sort of like tastes like, well, imagine if um, strawberry jam on toast, um, if you could drink strawberry jam on toast. And that's what it tastes like. Um, so fruity, sort of like buttery and um, not crunchy, of course. So. Um, other brands of tea and flavours of tea are available. So this parcel, let's see what's in it. Okay. Almost there. That's the knife. And put it back. And that's the we've got. Okay, well, not interested in that. That's fairly way to um, mollify our cats. Um, and this is a sort of our fountain pump. And I know you're not interested in this either. Um, this is a general order from um, Amazon, upon which I ordered this book. Uh, Civilization, sorry, Civilizations by uh, Laurent Binet. Um, whom I heard about this book whilst listening to um, Radio 4 um, last Monday, and it sounded interesting. Um, okay, so, um, it's world history, but not as we know it. Uh, circa 1000 AD, Eric the Red's daughter heads south from Greenland. 1492, Columbus does not discover America. 1531, the Incas invade Europe. Okay. Uh, Freydis is the leader of a band of Viking warriors who got as far as Panama. Nobody knows what became of them. 500 years later, Christopher Columbus is sailing for the Americas, dreaming of gold and conquest. Even when captured by the Incas, his faith is in his superiority and his mission uh, is unshaken. Th 30 years after that, Atahualpa, the last Inca emperor, arrives in Europe. What does he find? The Spanish Inquisition, the Reformation, capitalism, the miracle of the printing press, endless warmongering between the ruling monarchies and constant threats from the Turks. But most of all, downtrodden populations ready for revolution. Fortunately, he has a recent guidebook to acquiring power, Machiavelli's The Prince. It turns out Atahualpa is a very good at it. So the stage is set for a Europe ruled by Incas and when the Aztecs arrive on the scene for a great war that will change history forever. Uh, Civilizations is a wildly entertaining counterfactual story about the modern world, colonization, empire building, and the eternal human quest for domination. Um, and basically, it's an electri electrifying novel by one of Europe's most exciting writers. So, I do like a good counterfactual. Um, the, the classic sort of counterfactual is okay, what happens um, if. Um, the uh, um, if the South won the won the American uh, Civil War, um, so that's explored, for example, in Guns of the South by Harry Tattledoff, for example, where uh, somebody turns up with a strange uh, Dutch accent and hands um, at uh, um, the um, General Lee uh, AK-47s and equips the army of the South with AK-47s, and they're very effective because essentially. It's a huge step forward in terms of technology, um, but there is an interesting. I mean, I'm interested in history as well, but there's an interesting um, exploration of uh, what happened if, you know, a certain person died, or somebody invented this, or didn't invent that, and that sort of thing. So you would uh, you would particularly look at um, series What If. Uh, which is a collection of, um, of uh, essays by historians um, exploring um, the possibilities of um, changes in history as we know it. And there are three volumes of this, uh, What If, More What If and American What If. Um, and it's all written by historians, so it's, it's, it's actually, that's actually a good read. So I'm sort of getting off the subject because 
you have to like, do the other thing to option for, for game lines, then I thoroughly recommend two supplements by, um, from G Steve Jackson Games, Alternate Earths and Alternate Earth 2. Uh, great essay set, essays of settings for, for GURPS which explore alternative settings um, which you can adapt to the, to, the, to the mechanics of your choice or uh, I would look at um, the, uh, God, what's it called, role-playing game um, of uh, time basically parallels um, jumping, the name escapes me, um, it's about to be a television series and it's completely forgotten and that's really annoying. Um, but, uh, um, yeah. Um, at Luther Artwright, that's it, Adventures of Luther Artwright, the comic by Brian Talbot, um, which has been turned into a role-playing game twice. The most recent one is from the design mechanism and uses the Mithras system. I recommend looking at those as well. So what we've got here is a, no a counterfactual novel. Um, one in which the um, the invasion, really, um, essentially, of uh, Central America uh, during the 16th and 17th centuries is reversed. Um, and uh, so the, all of the horrors and, and, and the discoveries um, of, made by um, Cortes and his followers and uh, all of those who followed in his wake um, are essentially reversed. And it's the uh, civilization of the Incas, the Aztecs and so on, who make that journey across the Atlantic and um, essentially make discoveries in Europe. Um, so, uh, yeah, this again would be interesting read, translated by the French, by, translated by the French, um, uh, and it's been, sort of like, it's been discussed a couple of times um, on the radio and uh, reviewed and so on, and I thought I would get a copy. Um, uh, I've never read anything by, by uh, Laurent Binet before, um, so I look forward to digging into this. Um, so I'm calling it okay. Um, and uh, Civilizations is a bestseller that won the, uh, the Grand Prix de l'Académie Francaise, and it's not the first, and basically he's won. Um, uh, basically uh, various prizes in full French literature before um, but because essentially um, we're not heavily exposed to um, francophone um, uh, contemporary writing very much in the English speaking world we don't get to see books like this so yeah if you are looking for um, a, counter a new counterfactual um, novel then this may well interest you um, What's interesting? What what is interesting here is that basically it's been talked about by the general media, not necessarily by the, uh, the sort of like the genre media, science fiction or you know, and, and the like, which is generally where you will find counterfactuals and um, uh, it, it, you know and, and um, parallel earths and that sort of thing, um, because essentially it's seen as a, a kind of fantasy, um, a historical fantasy, but not really sort of like the accepted kind of historical fantasy um, but uh, you know with I think because Laurent Binet has won awards for this book um, gen in ge basically general um, how can I put it general book awards um, that you wouldn't normally see a work of science fiction or speculation necessarily winning it's got the attention of the general media um, so they're talking about it um, and the other thing, of course, is that uh, genre subjects are um, of greater interest these days than they once were, uh, because they're more popular. Um, so it is essentially with something like a counterfactual, like this one. So that's Civilizations by Laurel Binet. Um, I'm not going to review this, um, but at some point, you know, because uh, I don't review books, as uh, novels as such, um, if I was reviewing full time, then perhaps I might, but I'm not. I do focus on the role playing games. So, if you've liked this unboxing, then please do click the like button down below. If you've got any comments or feedback, then uh, do take out the read to, to, to read them and respond. And of course, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxing in the nook, um, when I'm sure I'll have um, other types of tea.
then please do subscribe um, and you'll see more videos from me in the near future um, so yeah thank you once again for watching another unboxing in the nook um, I will be back soon again uh, thanks for watching and bye for now